Ocean Park is a Hong Kong home theme park with a history of 36 years. We have uh, over 85 uh, attraction ponds here and we have a large family of animals including the giant panda, uh, the dolphins, sea lion, walrus, penguins, shark and birds, etc. We have the uh, missions uh, to connect people with nature. Ocean Park has four full-time veterinarians. In addition, we have five veterinary nurses. We have a second staff that runs a laboratory that is fully devoted to our diagnostics. So we try and offer a very full uh, program to take care of our animals to the best of our ability. Jamisa, she has generalized dental disease, and we're trying to keep as many healthy teeth in her mouth as possible. We're trying to avoid an idea where all of the diseased teeth would have to actually come out of her mouth. We're going to take two radiographs, one of the top jaw and one of the bottom jaw. Would it be best for us to do it over here or in the deep water? I'm Cedric Tutt, I'm a veterinary surgeon and I live in Cape Town and I work from there. And I'm a veterinary specialist dentist, so I work on animals' teeth. The team that work here are very enthusiastic about maintaining the teeth in animals. It's very easy to extract the tooth and throw it away. But to maintain the tooth, keep the tooth in the mouth, is something that is one step further, which helps us look after the teeth in the animals. Hello. Hello, Tumisa. The dolphin has um, in the past played with some toys okay. that caused some damage to the teeth. The large part of the tooth was exposed, the tooth then died, and they're causing discomfort to the animals. We've been um, teaching the dolphin for a long time now. Um, this dolphin will be worked on today without any anesthetic, without any sedation, and it's all voluntary. Some of the difficulties are the dolphin, you can ask her to sit still and open her mouth, but she's going to move at some stage. So when you are working in the tooth, it's difficult to know exactly where you are with the movement. So you need to hold the dolphin gently, allow her to move as she wants to, but at the same time, don't force her to do anything that she doesn't want to do. You want to break? Yeah. yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. This is an endodontic file and we will use this today in the tooth to clean out the canal. put it in we saw there was a little bit of blood on the end maybe the canal is still open at the bottom we took a sterile sample of that using a swab which we then will send to the laboratory we're making good progress we've got most of the old filling out there's just a very small piece left maybe half a millimeter and then once that is out we can start the filling process with the first layer we're going to be using a material called Pro Root MTA. You will get new bone growing around the root, which is what we need in our patient today. It takes about four hours to set completely, so we're going to place a paper point on top of it just to take a little bit of the moisture away, and then we'll put glass ionomer on top of that. And we paint the bonding agent onto the tooth. We cure it with the blue light and then afterwards we place the dentine replacement onto that and cure it with blue light. The blue light causes the polymerization to be initiated in the material and gives us the final hard product. Pretty good, pretty good. All things considered, it was a good first try. Well, we've got a good piece of MTA in there. It's in there. Yeah. We're delighted that, that Dr. Todd had a chance to come and, and, um, and work with us today. Because of his familiarity and expertise in the dental field, he brings forth a lot of products, a lot of information, a lot of new technologies that are on the forefront of veterinary dentistry that he can then look for applications that would be appropriate for our collection. 
so that we can look at filling more of Jumisa's teeth and making her mouth even more comfortable.